five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped her head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Four little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped her head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Three little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Two little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped her head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. One little monkey jumping on the bed. He fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, Put those monkeys back to bed. And they all fell asleep. We're glad the little monkeys went to bed. Let's learn our fruits, friends. Ready to learn your fruits? I am. There are apples. Apples come in different colors and different shapes. And then there are bananas. Bananas, they're so yummy and nutritious. They are yellow. Oranges, aren't you glad I didn't say banana? Well, these are yummy. And we have grapes. Grapes are purple, yummy grapes. We have watermelon. Watermelon with seeds, very yummy. Then we have mangoes. Mangoes, friends, mangoes. Then we have cherries. I love cherries. Cherries are very yummy. It's reading time, friends. Ready for reading? Make sure your parents are reading to you every night so that way you get better at reading. The title is Great Grandpa is Weird. Great Grandpa is Weird. Written by Stephanie Belofsky. Illustrated by Tracy Bishop. Red Chair Press. Uh-oh, I know where we're going. Mama, no! I'm not going in, I said as the car pulled up near the little house. But baby, said Mama, Poppy is my grandpa. That makes him your great-grandpa. That's very special.
His voice is so scratchy, he sounds like a frog, I groaned. One too many I love yous talked his voice right out, said Mama. His hands are wrinkly like lizard claws, I pointed out. Sixty years in Grandma's hands have dried them out, smiled Mama. He can't hear anything. It's like talking to a fish, I complained. Eighty years of stories have gone in those ears. It's hard to fit more in, said Mama. His mouth and face are so dry, it scratches like a porcupine, I whined. Hundreds of boo-boos have dried up the softness of his skin, said Mama. He just sits in that cold wheelchair, I said, like a turtle stuck in his shell. After thousands of walks, his feet got tired of stepping, said Mama. He tells the same stories over and over, I said. That's because he tells them once for you and again for all the angels listening in, explained Mama. He stares at me funny, like a fly who can't tell what is real, I said. Millions of memories dance in those eyes. Sometimes it's hard to know what is now and what is a memory, Mama said with tears in her eyes. That's the end, friend. Thank you so much for reading with us. Thank you so much for watching as well, friends. Bye. Make sure to subscribe to ABC Learning for Kids.